what's going on guys so as you can see I got a limited edition uh, blue PSP right here uh, this thing came out I don't even know how many years ago probably a decade or more ago um, but in this video I'm basically just gonna be going going through and checking out some of the accessories I have for the PSP and uh, turning it on and you know seeing what it's like playing the PSP in 2018 because it's this thing came out I don't even remember how many years ago probably in like 2005 or something so it's 12 or 13 years old now, before I get into this video, make sure to go to my description and uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, uh, jrob0021, and definitely leave a comment below when you do, and I'll shout you out. And so let's go ahead and get into the video. So let me zoom out first. So basically, I haven't turned this thing on in years, but it's a PSP 2000. Um, I think there was a 1000 version, a 2000, and a 3000. Uh, the 1000 being the oldest and 3000 being the newest. Um, and yeah, this thing was pretty slim. It's pretty light. It was basically like a PS2, but on the go. So it was really cool when it came out. Um, this this one's blue because it came in the special uh, Madden bundle. Let me get out my this box I have right here. So let me zoom out a little bit. So I got this. This is the bundle it came in. Madden 09, NFL 09. It was just a special blue PSP. I have no idea why they made a blue PSP for Madden, but you know it was pretty cool when it came out. As you can see, it came with a uh, one gigabyte uh, storage card. This some kind of Beats thing. I remember that thing. It was some kind of little game. Uh, it came with this NFL. It was kind of like a movie, I think. NFL plays and then uh, Madden NFL 09. So I guess I got this back in probably 08, 08 or 09. Uh, I think it retailed for like 200 bucks. Actually, I'm actually pretty sure I traded in all of my PS2 stuff. To GameStop and bought this, which may not have been the best decision, but PS2 is or PSP is pretty cool, so it's whatever. Uh, so here's the PSP. You saw the box. Um, here's my this case I have that I bought from GameStop years ago. Fits the PSP. Let's see what I have in here. Honestly, I don't even remember what games I have. So I have a microfiber cloth for cleaning the screen. All right, so that's useful. Um, I also got an extra two gigabyte uh, memory card. There's probably, I'm pretty sure there's a memory card already in there. So um, I have NBA 2K10 and those graphics were terrible. Let's see, what is this? I have Thrillville off the rails. Okay. I got Madden NFL 09. I have, <laughs> I have a movie, National Treasure 2. That's kind of cool about that and this is that the one thing that came with the uh, with the uh, bundle some kind of like NFL movie kind of thing so if you recall these things were called UMDs they're pretty cool uh, you know it's just basically basically a disc but in this little tiny case I don't know why they did it like this but it's it was weird but I mean I guess it worked so it's, it's whatever um, yeah I even got as you can see I got these little cases they're supposed to help hold them but I mean they don't really do anything pretty useless honestly so let me put this stuff off to the side I believe that's all my accessories as you can see I actually have it plugged in right now because you see the power lights on I highly doubt this thing has any battery since I haven't turned this thing on in years but uh let's go ahead and just turn it on and boot it up so I think you have to hold the power switch and there it goes all right you can barely hear the sound let me just turn the volume up initial setup all right so I guess it's been so long since I turned this thing on that it doesn't even remember me playing so let me try to zoom in on this so we can get it okay so that's NFL Street 2 apparently I have NFL Street 2 in here right now so here's a memory stick 27 megabytes free wow I got nothing left on that all right so what are all these trailer this is weird all right so let me get used to this okay so this thing is actually like the PS3 in terms of the main menu, if you if you recall. It kind of has like a the PlayStation Store here, and then stuff with the network, and then all the game stuff, and movies, music, photo, extras, and settings. So this is very similar to the to the PS3 menu. So it's kind of like a high. This is a portable version, kind of a hybrid of a PS2 and PS3. You know, the the graphics and the the gameplay is kind of like a PS2, but the menus is kind of like a PS3, if that makes sense. Um, so let's see what kind of games they have on here. So this is that Beats game, uh, Worms, and World Tour Soccer 06 demo. Wow, that's a long time ago. Okay, um, I'm gonna 
I'll take this disc out. So if you, if you recall, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this before or not, but in the PSP, you basically open up this disc slot in the back and just slide your disc in, and that's that's where the game goes. So it's, it's a lot different than a lot of other console, consoles, like, you know, the 2DS, 3DS, just the regular Nintendo DS. They all had little tiny cartridges you just stick in there. And, but these are actual discs. So let me I'm gonna put a different game in there. Let's see. Let's try Thrillville off the rails. I'm just going to put it in there. Hopefully it works. I'm going to turn my volume down so I don't, it doesn't like play any music that I'm not supposed to. So you probably can't hear it, but you can kind of hear the, but I can hear the disc kind of like spinning in the back, trying to load. And this game might be broken because it's not even loading. Yeah, I think this game is broken. Well, that's sad. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll try another game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Looks like I can try NBA 2K10. Alright, put this in. Sorry, it's so zoomed in. I'm trying to show the screen better. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the reason why this disc didn't work, or where is it at? Thrillville. So, so a lot of times on these discs, it's kind of hard to see on here, but like there's a plastic casing on top of the disc that kind of holds it in. But sometimes that plastic disc kind of like breaks. You can see right there, it's not it's not aligned anymore. Like it it got pushed in and it just kind of messes up the disc and you can't use it anymore. So it's, I don't know, I think the UMD stuff was kind of crappy. All right, so here's NBA 2K10. And so that's just the PSP thing. It boots up. It shows that symbol whenever it boots up a game, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we're waiting for this. Let's just like look at some of the other stuff we got in here. So we got a home button. So that takes you back to the main menu. We got volume, PSP logo. I have no idea what this button does. Um, a music button. I guess that takes you to your music maybe. Select, start, pretty standard. X, square, triangle, circle. Those are all standard. Um, directional. And the cool, oh, the cool thing about when the PSP came out was it had an analog stick. So, you know, like the Nintendo DS and all those kind of consoles, they always had a D-pad, but they never had analog stick. So that was pretty cool when that came out. And now here's, it's got a right trigger, or a left trigger and a right trigger. Um, okay, this turns your internet on. Uh, I believe this is a, I think, I'm not sure what this is back here. But that's a mini USB port. Um, we got a headphone jack. And yeah, I think you can take the battery, battery out and replace it and that sort of thing as well. Let's go ahead and just start this game up briefly. All right, so it's loading some kind of profile. Start, yeah, sure. No, I don't want to save. So let's just take a quick look and see how these graphics are. <laughs> this is gonna be like a, a throwback blast from the past. Let's see. So if you press home, okay. So it's not like so you know on the PS3 and. Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, that sort of thing. You can press the home button and it'll go to your home screen, but it'll save your game. But I guess in this, if you go back to your home screen, you have to actually quit. So that's that's kind of unfortunate, but I guess that was just the technology back then. Uh, let's see. So load times aren't like too bad. They're not that great either. So if you guys have ever played a PSP, definitely let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about the PSP. It was definitely a cool console when it came out. I just it didn't stick around for a whole long, a real long time. Um, so here we go. Oh man, those graphics. Ooh, those are not very good. Wow. All right. Steel, come on. Oh, he just schooled me. All right, I gotta drop. I gotta hit, hit one basket. Get one basket. I don't know what the controls are. I'm backing down the post. Fake. You could tell oh, this team had Iguodala. Dang. That was terrible. Did he really make that? That's crazy. Alright, that's enough of that game. Alright, so that, that's just a little sneak peek of the, the games in the PSP. It's pretty neat. Uh, let me try what, try what this button does now. I don't know. Oh, it's changed the brightness. I gotcha. Nice. On um, the music. I don't know what this music thing does. Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, and here, there's another note. The speaker, it's kind of hard to see. There's a speaker right there and a speaker right there. So it's got front facing, front facing speakers, nothing special, but pretty cool. Um, now one last thing before, before we end this video, Let me zoom out real quick. And maybe we should just, just open up this box and see what's in here. So nothing much actually. Just holds all the stuff and a little booklet. So instruction manual, safety support, quick start guide, Madden 09 manual. Oh, there's actually a bunch of stuff in here. PlayStation magazine. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So I bought this after the PS3 was already out, so they're in here advertising the PS3. Nice. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and definitely subscribe for more content. Uh, I'm going to be releasing a whole lot more content now than I have been in the, the past few months. And definitely make sure to follow me on social media, and leave a comment down below what you think about this PSP, and you know if you had a PSP, and let me know your experiences. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.